Alak is, a, is the first organization that is a consortium of Latinos that promotes, preserves, and educates on Latino arts and culture. It is the first, and our major goal is to develop and create a Latino cultural center in Phoenix, Arizona. So it's unique. It's not happened before. Although, if you looked at some of our board members, including myself, we started this decades ago, maybe 30 years in the industry. But we're unique because we've come together as arts organizations, as advocates, as activists, and artists. We need to tell our story, Jesus. We have a story to tell. We need a place where we can come together and we can educate about, we can educate the public, we can enhance the life of all Arizonans. And doing that means that we get to tell our story. Well, there should have been something a long time ago. And uh, I think, again, getting back to our children, it's very important for us to leave uh, symbolisms, to leave uh, examples of Latinos who are artists, of Latinos who are accomplished, Latinos who have created uh, something for themselves. This will give the children impetus to follow in those footsteps and also to someday become a world-renowned artist or world-renowned uh, mask maker such as Zarco Guerrero or a muralist such as Martin Moreno. I've, I've always been a, a cultural warrior. I've always fought, you know, to, to bring a, uh, art to the community, to represent the community. Uh, and this would just be like a, a recognition of all the years of struggle that, that not just uh, I've put in, but many, countless other artists and art advocates have put in. Uh, we've got people that have do, been doing this for over 35 years, at least in my, my history, and I've worked all over the country. Um, and people are amazed at the fact that we don't have anything here that represents us. Uh, hopefully that with just our numbers, uh, we can create an impact and, and create a change and create a new excitement, you know, in, 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 in our community. Uh, it is, we're here for the purpose of, of stimulating a great interest in a museum and cultural center for the uh, area of uh, Phoenix and the Valley of the Sun. It is an area that's tremendously underserved. It is in an area that appears to have amnesia about its Hispanics, particularly its Mexican roots. And it's time that uh, we had something in an area of two million people that reflects the reality of its origins. Well, you know, the community itself, whenever we're in the news, it's about immigration or some other uh, kind of bad news story. So what we want to do is show the density of our culture, and we want to acknowledge a lot of the heroes and community people in our, in our culture, and also the artists, of course. I mean, we're going to have the Visual Arts Gallery. We're going to have a lot of research on some of the families who lived here a long time, their contributions. And sometimes their contributions aren't really big things. Maybe they just lived a good life, did their job, had a family, tried to do the best they could. But it's our culture, and it's important we acknowledge them, and it's important we document them too. I'm so happy to be involved. I am the curator for the museum. I'm one of the visual arts committee, along with Zarco Guerrero, Martin Moreno, and Marco Albaran. So I'm rubbing elbows with uh, guys who are you know, great giants in the world of Latino art. And I really look forward to uh, sharing my art painting every Saturday there, teaching out of there for Phoenix College and Ottawa University and for Australia Mountain Community College and maybe for ASU. But we're gonna be trying and get kids who are talented or even adults who are talented who might wanna pursue an education and help them along with that. Besides that, people who just wanna paint or come in and make art with us, we're gonna help them do that too.